Well, we've had to move the show outside because there is a little bit of a fire emergency uh, unfolding here at the Seven Network. Everybody has had to come outside. The ice running through Karen's veins there. While all that drama was going on, it was as if nothing was happening I there. Know. Not a professional. Mel's, Mel's, been, up Mel's, Mel's been up probing the uh, five fire trucks and the Bronto Skylift has just arrived. Oh. Oh. That's the big crane. You know it's serious case. when the Bronto Skylift Bronto arrives. <laughs> yes. Do we know? We still know. Cute fireman, I'm says Nula. We don't know oh, what the problem is. Out for you. We don't know what the problem is, though, do we? It's Tell us no, what happened. No, you guys were in a meeting, right? We're in the boardroom and it started yeah. to smell a little bit. We do lots of these very high-powered meetings. <laughs> <laughs> you may not realise that. Yeah. Some people yeah. think we walk out the door straight away. Yeah. No, sir. We're very, very hard. They're full on intense. Mel bakes the night before. Nat brings in some cakes. And it's, yeah, we've filled about yeah. 15 minutes. But, but you know but what? As a, as a pretty bad cook, I can recognise smells in the kitchen. And quickly, and I thought this is something that I would normally smell. <laughs> well, the rats, it's been dinner. noticed. We're just uh, we're going to check back on the security cameras, but that you ran out of there like a crying little girl, <laughs> when in fact your <laughs> colleague was behind <laughs> gasping for air. Yeah, well, it took, took me a while to get going because I was sort of in the fetal position under my desk for a while, and then Koshi and Mel said, "Get out!" So I thought, "Right, that's it." I'm out. You know, claiming workers' oh, compensation <laughs> for mental scarring already <laughs> is a bit early. I've got the form. <laughs> hey, hey Nola, you were, you'd just been on air with us, right? So yeah. What were you doing? Well, I was uh, making sure that uh, Brett's hammer pants from this morning weren't the cause of the fire. They were highly flammable. <laughs> he was just so smoking hot in them. That was what the problem was. I just kept smelling popcorn. <laughs> Which goes to how well I cook popcorn. Now Alex, yes. Alex Kong, who is our 6pm sport presenter, what's going to happen to the 6 o'clock news tonight? Well, well, I was actually in getting changed. I was downstairs and uh, I had to actually literally run out with my shirt half on. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, uh, that was pretty crazy. I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was kind of weird. And it's there was kind of a shame you had the time to put it back on. Yeah, oh, Kylie, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 now you're just embarrassing me. Uh, See, we're, but the sport will go ahead. We'll, we'll be there. We'll See, we're, we're, we're thinking emergency. Kylie's thinking calendar. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> everyone's work, safe. Uh, everyone's too. safe. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a Hopefully good day. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Welcome to 7 News, I'm Ann Sanders. Firstly, we need to explain this morning the emergency underway here in the 7 Newsroom. Fire alarms are sounding, which may explain the noise. Angela Cox is in our newsroom. Angela, can you uh, keep us up to date? What is happening exactly? And about 20 minutes ago, staff were sitting here in the newsroom and we smelled a smell of sort of like electrical burning smoke. We didn't know what it was, thought it may have been a light that had blown, but smoke filled the newsroom. So um, as a precaution, our workplace health and safety officer has evacuated the building. Well, at least non-urgent operational staff. So we've got about 200 staff who have left. That's our editors, our producers, our researchers, and really only the main staff here who have to be here to keep this um, show on air are in the building at the moment. Firefighters have arrived and they're looking at the cause. They, at this stage, haven't established what has caused the fire, but like I say, only very essential operational staff here at the moment. All right, that obviously includes you, Angela. We can certainly smell something here in the studio as well, so hopefully it'll be rectified shortly, but we certainly have a news bulletin for you this morning. So, Angela, thank you for updating us, and right now we'll go on to other news. A minute's uh, silence has been observed to mark Remembrance Day today, 91 years. Next in 7 News, we'll check the markets and we'll also check on the fire emergency here at the 7 Studios. Welcome back. You're watching Seven's Morning News. Now for an update on the situation here in the Seven Newsroom. Staff have been evacuated after fire alarms sounded around 30 minutes ago. Smoke has been seen coming from the building, but we've been cleared to continue on air with the morning news. Fire crews have arrived and are assessing the situation. And so returning to our earlier story, which we were unable to show you because of the fire emergency, a minute's silence has been observed to mark Remembrance Day, 91 years since the armistice was signed to end World War I. Stay with me here on Seven's Morning News. I'll be back with all the weather details right after this break.
Time now to check the national weather around the capitals today. Brisbane fine, a top of 27 degrees. Sydney fine, a top of 24. Canberra dry today and 33. Melbourne mostly sunny, a top of 31 degrees. Hobart mainly fine and 23. Very hot in Adelaide today, a top of 39 degrees. Perth fine and hot and 29 degrees. Darwin can expect overnight storms after a top of 35 degrees. Before we go this morning, we'll update you on the fire emergency here at the Channel 7 studios in Martin Place. Today, tonight, reporter David Richardson is outside the building with evacuated staff. David, what can you tell us? What's going on right now? We've got a sky crane which has been brought in with about half a dozen fire uh, emergency services into Phillip Street. We've got the reserve bank just behind us here for people who know Sydney. This is Phillip Street. The courts are down the road. The sky crane is now looking at smoke that is coming out of uh, what looks like a 10th floor uh, air conditioning duct. Um, this all started about uh, an hour ago and as you probably know um, up on our level on today tonight's offices on level four was where we first noticed it it seemed that we were the closest to the actual smoke itself uh, and it smelled like burnt plastic and then within about 10 minutes the office was filled with smoke and we were given the orders to to come outside uh, it took uh, fire crews not long then to get here so um, it's still as, as it was and we're still here. All right. We have, of course, been given clearance to stay in the studio at this stage. We can certainly still smell what's going on and uh, the fireys are around looking after us. So, David, thank you very much for updating us on the latest situation there. That's David Richardson from Today Tonight. And that is 7 News to Now. We will keep you up to date throughout the day and in our bulletins at 4.30 this afternoon tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Ann Sanders. Thanks for your company. Bye for now.